And that leads us to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going. Yeah, I do. That's <laughs> Kill, a, cool. Kill a Sally. Yes, yes. And I watched that last week and I said to myself, I, I, I got to get Linda Murray on. I've had Jay uh -huh. Cutler on. I'm friends with Ron Harris. I got to get her on. Yes. So for people who did not watch the documentary Kill a Sally, it is about Sally, Sally McNeil, who was married to Ray McNeil, who was a professional bodybuilder. That's right. And she wound up murdering him and getting 25 years for a second degree manslaughter. That's right. And they contacted you because at the time you were the, the reigning Miss Olympia. Mm -hmm. They contacted you to interview and give your opinions on what was happening at the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. can you take us through that or take me through mm -hmm. that rather? Yeah. Um, yeah. When they first reached out to me, they sent me several emails. And first I was like, nah, I want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Like just the top, the title killer Sally. I was like, oh, it sounds like one of them dark, mm -hmm. strange, you know, you would go down this place and then I'm pulled into this conversation. That mm -hmm. So um, they, they promised, well, we'll ask you some questions in regards to, he said, because you don't really know. Did you, do you know, Sally? Yes. I, I knew Sally. I know Sally. And did I know Ray? Absolutely. Did we work together? So, yeah. Um, they said they wanted to focus on me talking about the industry during that time for women finances, because they knew the other side of the story that she was, wrestling and mm -hmm. doing some things to make a living to pay for his supplements and mm -hmm. his ability to compete at the Olympia. So yeah, they did a great job. It, it was, I think it was very thorough. I thought it was fantastic because it takes you on this mental roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Cause you, I, I watched the first episode and I go, right. just watch this first episode. And I go, this poor woman, <laughs> my God, Yes. I'm like, this woman was a battered woman, you know, and then you go to the second episode and you go, aha, oh. she's full of shit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Everybody, that's what it was great, how they did that. It's yeah. Unbelievable. And yeah, um, I, I saw that, I saw that, you know, that's one of the common things, like that, my first time around in the 90s, being a female bodybuilder and there not being many of us, and there's predominantly men, mm -hmm. and I'm around Sean Ray, the whole group, Ray, all of the guys. And it's two women. The golden age. Yes, the golden age. I get to see these guys. Mm -hmm. I get to see what they do, you know? And then I know and knew the women that they were in relationship with these guys. You know, I saw what they did, not in their presence. And I saw the women that were like, you're not going to get far from me. I'm going to keep you within reach, within sight. And Sally was that person. Okay. Right. I thought so. She was. And so yeah. they, they, they depicted that correctly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, I actually assumed that those were his kids in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. and um, even a man to accept stepkids back even back then. Again, today it's a little yes. different, but even back then, for a man to accept stepkids, it's that's mm -hmm. that wasn't. Mm -hmm. So he had to be a certain type of guy as well. I, I feel Absolutely. like uh, since he's not alive, we weren't able to see his the type of person he was. He physically looked dominating, right? That's why in that first episode, it was like, oh my god, this man beat her. And, but meanwhile, there was never, a, she kept saying that she broke her nose. I mean, did you ever see Rocky Marciano's nose broke, yeah. you know, and hers was like, perfect. perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and, oh, and she kept saying, well, he, he would choke me. He would choke me. So when you see the size of him, you were like, oh, right. And it was almost like she was being manipulative in the interview. Mm -hmm. Right. She wasn't oh, yeah. being right. And then you get to episode two and they start interviewing the children. They start interviewing his friends and they start interviewing the athletes and you go, uh, okay, this person is um, has some kind of personality disorder, it seems. Like. Right, right, you know? right. Well, I agree with you. I mean, because, you know, like, fact of the matter is you can only be responsible for yourself. And obviously there was some manipulation yeah. <laughs> going on mm -hmm. there on both of their parts, to be honest. Um, 
what was the um what was the general uh consensus when you were when this all happened you were the reigning miss olympia when when sally actually killed ray what was the uh the opinion of the most of the majority of the athletes behind closed doors did they think that ray was abusive or did they think that sally was manipulative or did they think that it was mutual because statistically the majority of of uh domestic violence abuses it is mutual Mm -hmm. So what was the, the opinion? The consensus, the opinion, I believe, initially was that she was jealous and controlling. And um, she finally just lost it. Mm -hmm. It was never the opinion that we did not have the opinion that he was an abuser. Mm -hmm. I did not ever hear him talk down to her. Uh, he was, he appeared to be somewhat quiet, like, um, mm -hmm. so I know Sally said that the bodybuilders threw her under the bus and that all of her wrestling uh, clients, that they supported her. That's right, that's right. So I remember her saying that and yeah. and I felt that I I would agree with what she said. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean the 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 wrestling clients they were I would go as far as to say they were in love with her. Yeah. They had this inf they had this fat infatuation with her. They they you know they had this my you know my guy we have to we have to help her. This is, you know, mm -hmm. it, 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 good. And wouldn't you even think also that because they like dominant, strong women and people that like the what's that S and M or whatever that right. that maybe in their head there was kind of some yeah. something uh, that maybe. was attractive about a person that was that absolutely that could kill somebody a hundred percent absolutely you you hit the nail on the head at one hundred percent that you know and. and and there's this, you know, there's also a belief that, oh, well, maybe if I help, she'll, she'll, she'll notice me more, you know, she, uh -huh. because th these are men that don't, th these are men that don't normally do well with women. That's right. Correct. And, and then, they, and then they, they, this is how they get, uh, they, this is how they get noticed from women by paying to do this and paying <laughs> to do that. And it goes into, you know, the deeper, you know, issues of uh, femdom and muscle worship and so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. But what blew me away was that somebody married her after she got out of prison. That blew me away. Like if you, okay, mm -hmm. if you told me, oh, I got a girl for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Wow. There's, there, there's, there's one thing you kind of have to get around, but really it's, 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 it's just, you know, she did 25 years in prison for second degree murder of her ex-husband. And I go, and I go, yeah. <laughs> I'll wow. meet her. Okay, I on. know. You know, and it's just like, there's a, there's a, there's a reason why they say men are stupid. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I truly believe that there's a reason yeah. why they say men are stupid and women are crazy. And you uh -huh. watch that, you watch that, that documentary and it, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm feeling you. Oh, it's unbelievable. All right.